sometimes you get some guys, especially a guy maybe in young 30s, uh, losing his hair, and they they come in and you and and I can think of one where you know we do a hair transplant and he just feels more confident. He comes in, he, he looks happier. He's some I, one guy I'm thinking of. He got to the point where he didn't even want to go out. He, he wear a cap 100% of the time. He would not go outside of his house without a cap on. Now he'll go out, he'll go out to the to a restaurant or the, the local bars or whatever. He can enjoy himself socially. And he really was always paranoid that he'd get himself in a situation where it'd be improper to have a hat on. So he either had to keep it on and look like he was uh, not fitting in or take it off and then feel uncomfortable because of his hairline. And, it, and it's amazing how even a little bit of loss, some guys, um, that that just that little bit of loss can, can get them to that point socially. And his other guys come in and they're successful. One guy I'm thinking of, multi-millions, runs multiple businesses, very successful. So this stuff where they tell you, oh, you're insecure if you need hair, that's baloney. This guy's not insecure. He just didn't want to be bald anymore. Came in and he wanted to have hair. And it, and it was not, had nothing to do with his sex life. He's happily married, had nothing to do with his businesses not doing well. He had great businesses. It was a personal thing. He, when he looked in the mirror, he didn't see the guy that he wanted to see. So now he does and he's happy. And he says, he calls up, he says hello. And you know, it, it's, it's nice to have people that, that when you change that, it, it, it's, it can make a little change, but it, it just, just changes the way they react to other people, the, the way they feel in, in groups or at society meetings or whatever it is that they do. And uh, done a priest, I mean, you know, <laughs> done a priest, what does he need hair for? <laughs> he wanted hair. <laughs>